Today, 343 Industries posted a 28-minute video showcasing what Forge will offer when it launches in November time. Today, I just wanted to give you guys my overall thoughts on the video, give you my honest thoughts on what Forge is, and will it essentially save Halo Infinite? This caught me off guard massively today. I was not expecting anything to do with Forge or an announcement or a reveal today. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just dive straight in. So, starting off with my initial thoughts from the video and just generally with Forge in general. Look, it's nothing that we've not seen at this point, to be honest. That isn't taking away from how insane this mode looks, but we've seen so much gameplay, leaked maps and creations from the community in the last six months or so. This is nothing different to what we've seen. Today was more of an in-depth discussion as to what things do, what you can do, some of the features that are the community are requesting that they've brought into the game, and things like that. I think it was really positive to be honest. There was nothing bad about this event. It looks really, really good. And I'm excited for the mode. So do I think this mode is going to save Halo Infinite? Well, only if 343 take it seriously and add the relevant features around this mode to make it strive. Forge cannot release on its own. This mode needs loads of different things around it to help it strive because this is ultimately a community driven game mode right you don't just jump on uh, forge to play it single player you play forge to create maps to jump onto custom games with friends it's what you do and it's what you've always done if halo infinite forge does not launch alongside a custom game browser that you can go on to and download maps and play different community things like you could in the likes of halo 5 this mode is going to get nowhere there needs to be more community driven modes where potentially there's the top 10 highly rated modes you need to be able to follow creators to be able to see what they do if for example you want to follow halo infinite forges to have a look at his creations or you can follow red normster and play his toy story house like stuff like this you need to be able to do this because this is huge for forge this is huge for the community this is the hub of social gameplay you need to have social community features smothering this game mode and if it doesn't i've got no confidence that forge is going to do anything so again, this is essentially down to the way 343 managed this game, which going off their track record in the last year has been horrendous. But if they don't pull their finger out with Forge, this game is really going to go downhill. And I feel like March could be the end. I'm going to go now into a bit more detail around exactly what was spoken about today. And some of the stuff was really exciting, so I would stick around for it if you guys want to learn more. And if you don't fancy watching the 30-minute video, I'll break it down pretty quickly towards the end of this video as well, showcasing pretty much everything that you, need, you would see within that video from the video anyway. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So one of the really cool things as well within this reveal or so was that one of the members within the Forge team actually recreated the Campaign Mission Foundation. And this was done directly in Forge. And it looks really good. It looks pretty much like for like in one of the new Canvas modes. Um, and I think it looked very, very good. He said it didn't take him too long to do as well, which is very good to know considering the amount of sort of copy and pasting that goes on within this map in particular. And you'll see with all the different pillars that are essentially merged together and things. So it looks really good. I can't lie. You can add different lighting effects and things to make it look different as well. We didn't get much of that today, but that's more to come in the future. But it just goes to show that you can literally recreate campaign missions in this. You can probably go to the extent of recreating Halo Combat Evolved campaign missions, Halo 2, Halo 3, ODST, Reach campaign missions, and Halo 4 and 5 if you fancy it. But it just shows the customization that you can go ahead and do in Forge. There's almost no limits, really. On the back of Halo 5 and other Forge modes as well, there's been a lot of features the community have asked 343 to implement in the future. Now, they couldn't necessarily do them all in Halo 5 or previous Forge modes because of the engine limitations, but apparently the slip space with all of the issues that the community have heard that it's had, they've been able to add them in here. So just to go through a couple of these that they've said they've added. So they've added something called object scaling that we've seen already in some of the leaked footages. You can essentially scale objects in height and width to make them much bigger, much smaller, and it just helps the creativity as well so that's also really interesting and snapping to different objects on the ground as well so for example with foundation there's probably hundreds of these pillars that are all snapped together you can do that by just it's like a magnet from one object to another so it saves you having to precisely place them so it's also a very very good feature to have there as well the likes of a redo and an undo button which we've not had before 
will save so much time within creations. You can now no clip through walls when being the monitor in Forge, which will save so much time rather than having to go round your project or delete a wall to get out and then to go round or to something or whatever. So that's really going to help as well to just no clip through everything and get to one place to another extremely quickly. And you can also scale like AIs or you can even scale enemy types. So as you've seen, there was a grunt called the Giga Grunt in this that you can scale from very small all the way to just massive, really. So that's also something very interesting that you can do as well. And that will make for some really cool looking maps. Instead of Godzilla trampling down a city, maybe you've got a Giga Grunt doing that instead. <laughs> They've also added something that for me is going to change the game massively. And that is terrain. Terrain is something that we've wanted for a long time in Forge, but for myself personally. I didn't play much Halo 5 Forge because I couldn't tell you if that was in there or not. But the good thing about this terrain and the re reason why it's so unique is because it can be scaled. So you can rather have it really small, put it in the likes of an oil drum, light the fire on top and have it as like an outdoor uh, open fire. Or you could really expand it and turn it into a literal mountain to climb up or to just be there in the background of a map or something like that this is going to make for some insanely good backdrops and even really cool like valleys and things like that that you're going to be able to create in forge and it just opens the potential of things that people create and do in forge i'm really looking forward to it and uh yeah I'm, i mean we have such a talented community i can only imagine we're going to see some insane things when this mode launches another exciting thing as well they went into a bit of detail today that we haven't really heard of since we've seen it but we've not heard about it and that's the art within forge now you've obviously got different material types color settings and unique material types within forge that you can use on different objects and you can paste onto different objects as well change the material of that object make it look different change the color of that object as well the customization is pretty much infinite this will really help with sculpting maps as well and again using red normster as an example here you've got uh, the toy story bedroom with andy's bedroom in toy story you can change all of these different art styles around the map and make the materials different colors have like a wood effect here have a metal effect here have like a metallic or a matte look here it's literally completely customizable and looks very very interesting and i'm glad they're going in depth with this because it, it definitely needs it also can i just mention i've said this previously but the forge menu really clean looks very simplistic very easy to use and for someone like myself who hasn't played forge probably since halo reach i'm yeah glad that it's laid out in very simplistic terms for me rather than having menus everywhere sub menus here and there and everywhere just make it as simple as possible for me and that would be great. Another new feature that's coming to Halo Infinite Forge is something called prefabs, whether this is something that's been used in the unofficial versions out already, but it looks and sounds very, very good. For example, it's essentially like a copy and paste of something that you can save and then you can essentially spawn in from a shortcut later on. So if I spend three and a half hours creating a plane, for example, I can prefab that entire creation and just paste in like 10 of them in an instant i don't have to create 10 planes and take me like 30 hours i can just paste in those planes and it will take me like five minutes so much better very very happy with that and it's not just you that can do this either it's anyone in your uh, lobby or in your game you all have options and access to these prefabs and you can set different prefabs and things like that and spawn them in like that it's very good very intuitive and it just makes ease of access much easier for the whole lobby now, towards the end of the Forge video, a really, really good thing that we did see is, again, another map creation in Forge. I hope they bring this map to multiplayer because, one, it looks really good, and two, well, we kind of need maps and we're lacking on them. So, use Forge. If this is the quality of the maps, use Forge to push new content out. 3343, three, please. We are starving here. But anyway, a new map was created in a really, really short amount of time, to be honest. And it looks very much like a cyberpunk type map with a very nice, eerie vibe. It was very dark. It's mixed with artificial light here and there as well. We have the rain coming down as well. It looks really good. And it's great to see that this sort of quality and just amount of customization and creativity can be done in a forge mode 343 did go on to mention and kind of brag a little bit here that with if anything like this was tried in halo 5 you would run into massive frame rate drops just because you in this instance you would exceed massively the amount of objects that you are able to place in halo 5 which is around 1600 whereas in halo infinite that object count is up to 7000 so the increase is absolutely massive and it's going to open the the 
door for so much new creativity. And not to mention this map only used up 65% of the quantity of different objects that could be placed. So there was plenty of room for more objects on there if you really did want to. However, it was mentioned that this could also expand in the future. So if 7,000 was deemed to not be enough, it could go higher. But that was pretty much everything from today, to be honest. It was around a 28 minute video. There's quite a lot in there, but it was focusing more along the lines of the building of things and how things could be placed and scaled and stuff like that as well so it looks very very good very very excited personally for forge i've always been a big forge fan even back in the day with halo reach i used to spend hours creating things on forge not really got into it so much with the 343 forge but i'm hoping with halo infinite that can change and go back to the way that it was within halo reach and just enjoying it i feel like this is what halo infinite needs right now i feel like it's going to breathe a lot of good life into F halo infinite and I'm very much looking forward to seeing what the community can build with this. However, again, as I mentioned at the beginning, 343 have got to nail it with the community features with Forge. Because without it, I don't think this mode is going to do anything for Halo. They need to add community features and they cannot delay or put them off. These are, these are arguably as important as Forge. 343 really need to nail these features and get them all in and out at the same time. If not... We, guys we're going to be in for a big problem with halo and i think everybody knows it but there are going to be a couple of other videos they did actually tease what they were going to be the first one is going to be scripting which is the next video they're going to do the next one after that is lighting as well which i really can't wait for and asset management and file browsing so this is essentially what we've said here but they need to make it intuitive they need to make it good and accessible for the community and i hope they can but guys, that's going to do it all for today. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on this video if you've watched it. If not, just let me know your thoughts and opinions of what we went through today. I'm excited, as I said. Can't wait for it. But I'd love to know what you guys think, because ultimately you guys are the, uh, the face of the community. So please do let me know in the comments. Leave a rating as well on the video. It'd be very much appreciated. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel too, for so I can bring you guys all of the latest on Forge, give you my opinions on it. And uh, then, yeah, we can have a discussion down in the comments. Leave your thoughts down below, please, and we can go through them. Um, I'd love to see what you guys uh, think on the back of that awful roadmap announcement a couple of weeks ago. But uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the day, everyone. Speak soon and take care.